There's a little beauty there. And I've got several more marked. So... Welcome to Nate's Carving Creations. Today, well, for the time being, I am out in the woods in a hole in the ground, okay? So, any of y'all mushroom hunt? I do. So, I'm gonna show you around a, a little bit. There's a little beauty there. And I've got several more marked. So, for this video, I'm gonna carve me a walking stick out of an old broken shovel handle. I've done several uh, this way already. And it's, they make really good walking sticks because no matter, <clears throat> no matter how old the shovel handle, unless it's broken or split up the middle of it, that wood is made for work. So it's strong wood, if, um, if it's a good handle. So uh, what I do is I collect them when they're just broke off at the uh, bottom and cut the broke end off and make them into walking sticks. I think this one, I'm going to attempt some tiki um, design. So, now, we, we got some carving to do. So, stay tuned. <laughs> hey guys. Again, welcome to Nate's Carving Creations. Today, we are going to make us a walking stick, okay? That, and this walking stick is going to be my mushroom hunting walking stick, okay? So, I'm going to use some tiki's uh, nature-like um, uh, stencils that I came across, I think, in Hobby Lobby one time and some spray paint um this walking stick um you i carved this out of a old broken shovel handle um at the yeah it's been stained and sanded but at, at the time i thought i was done with it so i'm not done with it and who says you can't go back and <clears throat> sand the finish off and add to it and then redo it? Hell, it's your carving. Who cares? So that's the adventure that we're going to go on today. So I'm going to go get my spray paint and we'll start marking the stencils. All right. Okay. Got my spray paint, and now take a look through all my stencils and see what ones I want to attempt to do. Um, So, basically, with this walking stick, I'm going to either attempt to feather around and raise um, some of this stencil art or just simply engrave it, okay? So, this is my first real <clears throat> adventure with 
any stencils. So hopefully it'll turn out at least decent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stencils picked out. I may or may not use them all. Um, I'm going to try this one up here. these smaller ones. Okay, well, the spray paint didn't work, so I'm going to switch to my sanding. I'm going to sand the finish off, and then I guess I'll trace over the, um, the stencils with one of my Sharpies, and we'll do it that way. So I'll time lapse this um, sanding segment and then regular time, uh, actual time, the um, tracing. Okay? So. I know this is a wood carving channel, but Megan, if you're watching this I hope you'll think about coming back to me I miss you okay so it's gonna take too long to sand the whole thing so and plus why do it twice okay so I got some different color sharpies I got a bronze metallic sharpie that I'm going to try well that's better than what the um, spray paint turned out as So basically these are all little um, plant stencils, okay? out okay now if only I'm able to engrave them <laughs> so if any of you have any tips for stenciling um, email me or just leave a comment okay I welcome constructive criticism.
right, I got one, two, three patterns stenciled on. So I'm going to try doing this both ways. Uh, feathering down around it so that the um, stenciled image is raised slightly and just a simple engraving. Um, I'm probably going to be using some of my Dremel bits as well as my cut saws. So just simply because of the size of the marks. So I'll put them in there for the time being. So now, what do you say? We get carved. And as always, this will be um, a time lapse carve. Um, so, and <laughs> I just did is I engraved a few plants, uh, flowers or whatever up here and I'm going to, uh, I cut this one out. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to like it or not, but I'm going to feather uh, a little bit around it. I'm not going to go very deep with the feather, just deep enough so that the stencils hopefully raised a little bit. So, but I'm going to add some more up in here, whether they're raised or engraved. I, I think I'm probably going to like the engraved ones more. But if you guys end up liking this video, let me know. And if you want to see more of this kind of stuff done, let me know. And I'll see what I can come up with. So, but I'm going to switch it over to time lapse and mark it up and carve it up. All right. <laughs> Except for the sanding, it's done. I've got a total of nine engraved flowers, plants, thingies. So just gotta sand it down and put me a new finish, stain on it. So if you like this video and wanna see more stuff like this, leave a comment, it's a suggestion. Okay, and tomorrow, <clears throat> keep your eyes on, 
on my channel because weather permitting and time permitting I'm going to be doing my first official live carve okay so keep an eye out for that and until next time I hope you like the video y'all are awesome I love every one of you and keep on carving peace out